your mouth go to hell, and I will go to Texas. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. And you know, if you don't know, you're about to know. You know what I love, guys? I love Texas and I love barbecue. And here we are, guys. We are in Gulfport, Florida, just outside of Tampa at Smokin' Jay's Real Texas Barbecue. Yes, that's right. So I love barbecue, guys. I love meat. My favorite foods are animals. And Texas barbecue is my favorite cooking method for those animals. So here I do their massive barbecue challenge. So this is about a nine pound, maybe even 10 pound challenge, guys. Absolutely massive. It's only been completed once by Mr. Nathan Figueroa, in which he had to actually try this thing twice to have a successful attempt. He tried once, he failed. So basically, we're gonna have one hour to eat this big, huge sandwich, consisting of authentic Texas barbecue, being a huge, huge, huge bun. Then we got a pound of brisket, a pound of pulled pork, a pound of chicken, uh, you got pounds of sides, there's a full rack of ribs, the list goes on, it's a lot of different thingy things. I'm definitely gonna go with coleslaw and beans for my sides, it's like the traditional sides of barbecue and love and nature. So yeah, it's uh, 50 bucks if you don't complete it, which is actually a really, really, really good deal. Like, shockingly good deal. So either way, I know we're gonna have a great meal, guys. I wish you could smell this. Ugh, it smells wood, guys. It is the smell of real Texas barbecue. There is oak on that freaking smoker back there, guys. I don't know if you can see the smoke. Uh, let's see if I can zoom it over my shoulder. Yeah, there you go. There is smoke coming out of that chimney, guys. It smells beautiful. This is my favorite smell, it's my favorite place, guys. Well, like Texas barbecue is my, anywhere Texas barbecue is my favorite place. So let's go have this, let's have some fun, guys. Hopefully we can beat this challenge. Become only the second person, the second person, maybe, hopefully, to complete this challenge. So it's very difficult, guys. Countless attempts. Let's go see what we can do. Let's have some fun. Some real Texas barbecue here at Smoke and Jay. All right, everyone, so here I am with the sandwich. It's absolutely massive, guys. Got my good friend Mr. Dan here as well. He's doing it right beside me. So guys, this is absolutely delicious, guys. We're talking real Texas brisket. We got real Texas barbecue all around, guys. Brisket, pork, chicken, sausage, everything. It's all made here, guys. This looks so good. Just look at this. Look at this sandwich, guys. This is so photogenic, so pretty. This is just, I, I can't be happier, guys. This is my kind of challenge. Who would have thought we were getting real authentic Texas barbecue here in Florida? One hour, again, only one person ever defeated this, so let's uh, give it a go and wish us luck. What do you say, Dan? We get started, say the count of five, four, three, two, oh, I also forgot to mention we got beans and coleslaw here. One, let's go. Thank you. Three, eat you. This looks very good. Got some pickles. What do you call the pickles? Sweet and sassy? Yeah. Okay, sweet tap. You remind me of Brandon Burke. Very good. Got some pulled pork there. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. Mm. That's worth that. So good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Smoking Jays, guys, having some Texas barbecue in Florida, interestingly enough. Like I said, Texas barbecue is by far my favorite food. It is my favorite style of barbecue. I love all animals, but like Texas barbecue is just fantastic. Heavy wood, um, smoke, like heavy oak, we are talking absolutely just salt and pepper and loads of it. And it is just, oh, I just, I can't get enough. So here doing their massive, massive barbecue challenge. As we said, only one person to ever complete this after numerous attempts. I would eat this every day. So the challenge itself consisted of the great big bun. We then had a full rack of ribs, which they deboned. So that was really cool, really nice of them. Made it actually a lot easier to eat. They had a, uh, they had pulled pork. We had pulled chicken. We had brisket. We had sausage and beautiful beef. Mm. 
And then we also had their house-made pickles. We had some onions on there. Um, we had a bottle of barbecue, barbecue sauce beside us that we could use at our leisure. Additionally, we had to pick two sides, um, two small sides or one large side was the same volume. I went with a little bit of diversity, so I went with beans and coleslaw, which are generally my very standard, uh, I'll call them barbecue sides. I think they are some of the more traditional standard in totality in general, and I think they're some of the best guys. It's simplicity at its best, although they had you know everything from french fries to really anything you wanted for sides. Yeah, very delicious. <laughs> I always speak very highly to uh, restaurants that offer very legitimate challenges and this was one of those times. You saw in the beginning, like for example, the pulled pork, the pulled chicken, the brisket, they weighed everything out. So you're getting an accurate challenge, you're getting the same thing every time and I give a huge credit to restaurants that do that because it not only shows pride in their work but it shows a lot of honesty, transparency and really how they are as a business. How long did this take me? Mate, how did you see Nathan? Uh, he had six seconds left. Oh wow! Took an Ethan thing on his second second attempt. Mm -hmm. The story of Smoking Jays is pretty funny, but it kind of makes sense. So I guess you know a number of years ago now, the gentleman and his wife moved to Florida, and there was no Texas barbecue around. And of course, guess where they moved from? That's right, they moved from Texas, and they still carry that Texas hospitality today. They still carry the Texas barbecue traditions. And again, this was not something I expected to be eating in Florida, but I was so glad that I did. Man, right there. What? That candy. That candy corn. Oh, yeah, I like corn. Mm. Mm. I told you. Mm. Damn. This sausage, oh my god. Mm. So good. Man, why did I do that thing looking like some money? She's the least guy. That is a juicy sausage. It's really his fault. You keep encouraging Bradley. Mm. Chicken's really good too. Real nice sauce, love the sauce. Go for it. I'm gonna pull back a rib. When Nathan Figueroa actually came to do this, it was in 2017 and 2018. And I remember back in those days, that was my the time where I was getting into food challenges, just having my first exposure to them. Um, whereas I basically started doing food challenges in about early 2018. I remember him doing this challenge, following along and say, oh my gosh, I want to do that one day. But at the time, I was definitely not capable of doing so. Dude, so good at sausage. Not seriously, that becomes the best of walking up. I'm all about that juicy sausage. Get your head out of the gutter. So literally about two to almost three years later, you know, having the opportunity not only to be in the area, to be in Florida, but to have um, what I feel was the skill to at least have a good shot at completing this challenge. I was absolutely so excited to go in, to give it a try, because like I said, I've been wanting to do this challenge for years. My favorite foods in a warm place. Hell right. I'm going to suck a burrito. I can't wait to do that. <laughs> Speaking of ribs, let's give him a shot. Mm. Oh. Very nice. Come on, 
Where is that? I don't want it out of the little axle. I should have a power here that can't eat bone. Oh. Yeah. 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 The ribs are perfectly cooked as well. Very tender, but they still have texture. Pulls on here, healthy vegetables. Very, very good. Look at that thing. Nice and smoky. Look at that thing. Look at that. That is good. Big, thick one. Go ahead and call it on the bar. Good. Very good. Can't beat that level, Texas level of smoking. That one's The one thing I did forget to mention is there's also is a jalapeno, a whole raw jalapeno on top of the challenge, and that is a very spicy jalapeno, so I was told, and hopefully I would be able to find out. Also, Drinking my sweet tea, guys. I love sweet tea. It's a thing not available in Canada as much, so whenever I'm down here in the south, I always get some. Hi. What do you think? I just feel like it's right? That was a Texas sized burp. So there's a famous saying that goes something like, all you can go to hell if you go to Texas. That's me. And I'm in Texas right now. This is beautiful. Got some sides, got some bread left. No complaints. Got some beans. That's a good bean. Ice tea is really good too. Shout out Texas in the South. And yes, I'm aware Florida is not really the South, but it is South of Canada, it is South of me, and it is really still in the Southern, you know, part of the Southern parts of the Southern United States and or the United States. But again, yes, I understand it's not the South, but I do love the South guys. I love soul food. I love the Southern food. I love fried food. I love barbecue. I love everything about it. I don't know what it is, but that bottom half of the USA, you guys have food, you guys have soul. I love it and I love you. That's from that good old delicious look golf ball. But see, this would have been really good on the sandwich. 
next time. And it's very delicious. Good bit of black pepper in there for <laughs> so warm weather, good food, what more could you ask for? Um, again, I will say the area that this challenge was in was really nicely as well in Gulfport, uh, kind of like Tampa, Clearwater, etc. area. Uh, definitely would recommend everybody checking that place out. Beautiful uh, beaches, beautiful water, um, love to see the palm trees, just, and like I said, beautiful, beautiful weather. All right. Some bread. Dan said this is his favorite bread. He purchases it often. But with everybody, that's pretty much all I have to share with you today. Um, definitely a big challenge, not a great success rate. Hopefully we will be able to beat it. Um, if you're ever again in the that part of Florida, definitely come stop by Smoking Jay's, great hospitality, great food. Um, although I will let you get to the rest of the video, hopefully we'll be able to complete it. But really quick, let me know what you think of the challenge down below because I think the thing was absolutely beautiful. I love it. And at that, because I could ramble on about Texas barbecue all day, like anything to do with meats and animals, I will just say, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I still can't believe how delicious this challenge is. This is by far one of the best tasting challenges I've ever had in forever, maybe ever. Where are we up for time? Time. Where are we up for time? 1522. 15, 15. We got 45 minutes to drink that piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> so about 15 and a half minutes in, it's going real well. Me and Dan both crushing it. Very delicious challenge, guys. I'm so glad I had the chance to enjoy this. I always said they didn't get 90% or 80% of the time the first 20 minutes at one time. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be any time. <laughs> then your brain and your stomach start talking and after 20 minutes you're done. I caught that from you, crazy. How we need a up.
좋아? 맛있어. 그래도 like, uh oh. <laughs> And we're done. Woo! All right. Very, very delicious, guys. Absolutely enjoy that challenge. That jalapeno was a lot spicier than I thought it was gonna be. Huh? But oh, fantastic, guys! So officially, at least one person beat it. You have to check out Dan's video to see if he also beat it as well. You think the Smoking Jays? Great staff, great food. If you're ever in the at all Tampa area, if you're ever in the Gulfport area, if you're ever anywhere, come on by, guys. Real Texas barbecue here in Florida. Very, very delicious challenge, guys. So that would get a meal for free. I believe you also get a t-shirt and maybe even a bumper sticker. So that's pretty unique. So yeah, super delicious, guys. Love that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that pepper's hot. It's still kind of hot. But now, everybody, thank you for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely sure did. You just like everybody came out. And uh, that's it. Text the you guys. Have a lovely day. Happy building here. Happy eating. You know what to do. everybody and I give a huge 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 thank you to our long-standing friend man Mr. Nate. Nate is always repping me if you guys don't know countless for like two plus years nice haircut nice haircut he's always talking about my hair critiquing my hair my hair I told him I said dude I let you down my hair is not on point today but uh, huge thanks to Nate fam jam all for coming out so thanks so much everybody really appreciate the support so uh, hopefully uh, well I mean this is before we do the challenge, guys, so hopefully I can complete this thing. I, at least somebody has faith in me, and uh, like I said, guys, thanks so much for sharing Tampa area with me here, so much appreciate it. Let's go, Joe! Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right. Click my face. Subscribe, guys. It helps me out. It helps you out. Then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click the video right here. I specifically pick two videos, yes that's right, two videos specifically for you, right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end. So click one quick, let's go, let's go, and have a great day.